started out making power meters, obviously, and when you make a sensor in the cycling world, your data has to go someplace. The more we learn through working with Team Sky and their needs for head units and listen to consumers and all the variabilities that go into training and with power, we set out to have one ecosystem where it's simple to use. Stages Dash is the bike computer we all wanted to make. Really what we were driving to is having a partner on your handlebars as in a coach or workout partner that showed you what you're going to do and was able to record it and understand what your compliance is with that workout. The customization on this is completely different than any products. One of the things we prefaced up front was definitely function over form. For instance, some of the newer units that we've had experience with put the buttons on the side of the product or between the bar and the bottom of the product, which make them very hard to actuate and push. And one of the early things we said is we can't do that. The buttons have to be front and center. We have gone through great pains to create a mount that essentially drafts itself against the bars, lines up directly in front of the bars so that it actually has almost no effect on your CDA. We can have our display work in a portrait and landscape mode. So now you have to design a mount that's universal. It's able to hold the, the device in both orientations. In many cases, uh, the plastic mounting interfaces in races such as Roubaix, et cetera, were, were failing and, and you know, you'd lose a head unit. So we have a metal-to-metal -metal contact as opposed to any plastic parts that are allowed to fail or fatigue over time. We decided that when we were going to do a head unit project that we really wanted it to be integrated with whatever other tools we're using. Obviously it's well integrated with the Stages Power Meter, but the third big part was where do you evaluate this data? Where do you do future planning of this? And how do you get your workouts on your dash? With Link and Dash together, we've basically created an environment where a new Power Meter user can go through workouts, go through some training protocols, and really get an understanding of how to use power as a metric. So Stages Link grew out of what was already a really strong data analysis platform, but we added in the things we needed to make a bike computer good, and we also put kind of a Stages touch on what we thought the best way to train would be for any user, from Chris Room all the way down to uh, someone just getting into riding. My favorite feature has to be the integration with workouts. And the fact that there will be no more pulling the phone out of the pocket, no more pieces of tape on the stem. And then when you're out on the road and your coach is prescribed a workout or you have a workout that is prescribed for you, you can actually follow along with the training that you're supposed to do. Or once the rider has done that workout, then they can upload their, their recorded file up to Link and overlaid on top of that file will be graphic indications of where they were supposed to be for a particular interval. So you truly know and you have experts behind these workouts to understand how to get better on your bike, how to get stronger, how to raise your functional threshold power. The new Stages customer uh, has two months of premium access with Stages Link. The, the very first thing that you'll be able to choose is a training plan that you want to follow. I think we landed on a great place with a product that uh, is going to change the way people think about training with a GPS head unit on their bike.